so Molly's just lunging nibbles <laughs> since you won't be in the outro but we've just had a very exciting delivery um, on some bedding that we're going to try so this is it we got 30 bags on this pallet from sunny bed so we're going to be putting Jarvis and Luna onto this bedding so we're going to have a lot of time lapses this video getting all the straw out of their stable completely sweeping it and then putting the bags in so sunny bed recommend to put between six to nine bags in their stables depending on how deep their bed is like how deep you want their bed um so yeah, we'll probably start off with about seven and then see how much that um creates each bag is 15 kilograms um and you don't have to wet it you just put it in so it saves a lot of time but yeah cue the time lapse that's a quick interruption to the video uh if you head over to sunny bed on instagram and follow them uh dm me or molly um at gopro news or at molly change i'm putting and we will give you a shout out on our instagram account um to say thank you for following them so yeah go follow i'll give you like 10 seconds now <laughs> have you done it <laughs> have you done it five four three two one okay let's go the video i hope you did it i hope you did it so um i've basically just come in to get a selfie stick out of the barn from where we were filming yesterday but first of all we need to remove all of the straw from Jav's stable getting ready to put him onto the sunny bed so i'm going to do a time lapse of me taking the straw out and then all the straw is going to go in blaze's stable so he's going to have an absolute massive bed today aren't you huh oh um but yeah so i'll get all of the straw out sweep it up take his poos out that he's done during the day and then we'll get on to putting the sunny bed in the stable Okay, so bla um, not blazers, Jars' stain is all now empty. There are just some stains on the mats from his wee. He's over there. Um, I'm just about to go and get all of the bedding, unbag it, and then bring all the bags over. Jarvis, you're being very impatient for this new bed, aren't you? Huh? What did you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I am not wearing pajamas, it's just another layer. They're old. They're old. <laughs> yeah. So, get into this. Get into it. We can. Oh, oh, oh. 
messed up. <laughs> Travis, he's wiping his tan on the whiteboard. No. <laughs> Bird! <laughs> Yeah, there you go, look. Literally, just tear the bag open like this. Still a bit of a speed bag, but you This is what it looks like. Oh, that is so cool. And it's not like solid, so it means that the bedding will be really, really fluffy. So, yeah, now it's just a case of having it all in, but it should be for ages because uh, I'm quite. It's fine, because there's one with straw here, and string. Mm. Jazz knows exactly where to go. <laughs> What's that? Don't dig at it. What is it? <laughs> Don't eat it, you idiot. It's not gonna be very nice. <laughs> Silly. Do you like it? You sleep on it, you don't eat it. Don't dig, please. Do a wee wee. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I knew you were going to do that. There you go. Got Jarvis's approval. He's christened his bed. Doing a wee on it. I don't really be videoing you. Jarvis doesn't have a lot of privacy. <laughs> and Molly's just moved all of Luna's old bedding over to Goldie's stable. She needs to sweep it still though. Yeah. Luni, you're next. Donkey. Yeah, so she just needs to sweep it all up now. And then, and then we need to put all of the sun, sunny bed bedding in. She'll probably have the same as Jarvis did. But yeah. don't look the most awake right now <laughs> um i'm just come out into the yard to muck out jarvis well obviously i need to muck out blaze as well but basically you're gonna muck out blaze and then i'm gonna muck out jarvis and i'm gonna shape it every single hair that it takes because blaze and jarvis are both equally as messy as each other aren't you yeah so yeah we're gonna do that jarvis you done. Yeah, this is the amount of mess that I mean. Travis, what have you actually done? Oh my god. Look, guys, look. Look at everywhere. You're so messy. Oh, it's nice to see though. So, good boy. You can see on his rug, well, 
can you see the little bits like all over here and stuff pajamas <laughs> it's nice to see that he's lied down on it because that's the most important thing for us is that they get a really nice cozy sleep so as you can see here you can see that he's been lying down last night which is good So all together, uh, mucking up Blaze's straw stable took me around 15 minutes. He is very, very dirty and he tends to just poo in absolutely everywhere and we absolutely everywhere because you can see from the wetness of his mats, it's just all over. But that's like Jarvis was, Jarvis literally used to wee everywhere. He used to poo more at his front, the front of his stable than the back. There'd always be a couple of poos in the banks that you'd have to obviously like dig out and stuff. So I'm just going to go chuck this up um, and then I'll get on to doing Jarvis' stay and see how long that takes me. Can I also just say that this is the result of having nine horses on straw. Like the muck heap gets so filled up so quickly in the winter where they're in all the time because of the weather. But with sunny bed, because you only get out the poos and the little bits of wet that you can see, it would literally probably not even be a quarter of that by now because all you'd see is poo there rather than all this straw. Yeah, so, you can yeah. see a lot better in this light now that Jarvis has been lying down overnight, which is really nice to see. Like, he's got it on his hot and everything. <laughs> you got an itch there? But yeah, so that's all. So, it's safe to say that was literally so, like, fast and quick. So, it probably took me around 15 minutes to muck out Blaze over there. And it probably took me maximum, like, six minutes to muck out this. It's so easy. It's so quick. And if you've noticed, um, this bed has actually fluffed up quite a lot more because... The horses have broken it down and it's instead of it just being these pellets now so it makes for a nicer fluffier and comfort um comfortable bed so yeah very happy with this we added eight bags in the end um and this should last him a long while because if you can see at the back here he's still got a lot more of these pellets to break up so when these all fluff up um yeah it will be a massive bed but if your horse does eat it to start off with like Giles and Luna took a little mouthful just to taste it and investigate it um you can always add a little sprinkling of water to help break down the little uh straw pellets and make it into a fluffier bed so yeah um after mucking out Jarvis that's literally all the muck I got out but like, there's some hay that we couldn't use and literally it's just all poo which if we were to muck out nine horses, we could probably fit about four horses stables in this one wheelbarrow. And that would massively reduce the, the amount like of the mucking. one and this is how much i got out of her stable when normally it would be a whole entire heap sparrow of straw so think of the space we're saving on the muck heap
we talk about how we found sunny bed bedding. <laughs> so we're really impressed with it because we have taken out hardly anything from there. Yeah, so today um, I did Nibbles, Luna and Jarvis. Nibbles is on shavings, um, but I managed to fit all three of those in a big barrow. Whereas usually with Jarvis or with Luna, because they're both so wet, and we would literally fill a whole barrow and a heap um, with straw in the barrow. So it's a lot more um, efficient. For yeah, us. and also thinking about money wise, about because obviously we have to pay to get the muck heap taken away. Um, so, so the sooner we fill the muck heap, the more we're paying to get it removed. So it's just, it just helps us out because you know less is going on the muck heap, which means that we can save a lot. Yeah. So that's the benefit. Um, other thing is, we've not had to put anything in, add in extra bedding. Yeah, we put eight bags in to start off with, which was the recommended uh, between six to nine bags. Uh, we put eight in because our stables are larger than average. But on the first night, they were just obviously all pellets. So the beds in the video might have looked a bit flat, but you already saw a massive difference between the first night and the morning from where they'd fluffed up and created a really lovely yeah. bed. And my worry is with pellets, I always used to be against pellets because I used to think, oh, a horse is not going to want to lie down in that. Sure, so much, much more of a comfy option. Yeah. But surprisingly, Luna and Jarvis have both lied down Which every is absolutely paramount night. for us when we're trying to find a good bed. Yeah, and like, you can see all the um, pellets on their rugs. Yeah. So they're definitely lying down, which is... Um, yeah, so when we go to stay away shows, obviously because the horses are away from their home and like they're in an unfamiliar surrounding, they don't tend to settle as much, i.e. they don't tend to lie down as much, so hopefully with us also using some bed away, it will make them more inclined to lie down. And also, and it will soak up the yeah, disgusting Yeah, I was going to say, every single away. time we go to a stay away show, they always put us on the temporary stables. And it's literally cursed. Every single stay away show we go to, it always pours down with rain. Yeah, and so all of the temporary stables flooded. get literally flooded with water. So with the sunny bed, when we put that down, hopefully it will let us let our horses actually not have to sleep on wet, soggy shavings. Yeah, isn't it? That's so, what we have today. Yeah. Um, also, another benefit is, as you might know, Luna has, uh, well, she's really sensitive to dust. So we've been steaming her hay, giving her haylage. Um, she was on straw, obviously, which it has known is known to be quite dusty. Since putting Luna on this bedding, I have not heard her cough. Have you? No, exactly. She like she's and not... there used to be phlegm outside her stable. Yeah, she cough, like it was, it was so just horrible. Disgusting. Don't worry, we did speak to the vet about yeah. this, but and he was like, it's nothing serious. But yeah, I've not heard her cough since. Combination um, of the bedding and the steamed hay. Don't get me wrong, um, but, but it's still definitely benefit. helped yeah, her exactly. out a lot. Yeah, because the straw and we have is quite dusty, to be honest. And let's just take take the time to talk about how much of a shorter it takes for us to have out. Yes. Right, so it literally takes me, right, when Jarvis was on straw, it used to take me about 20 minutes because he would literally just be, just, it would just be all mush in the middle. So he'd poo all near his hay and everything and then he'd like wee and poo and Definitely. just literally just spread it all around his bed. So it used to take me at least 20 minutes. Um, I actually and enjoy mucking out. Yeah, it actually it makes me enjoy mucking out. I love, I love that sieving. Yeah, that actually... you literally pick up a poo, just have to sieve it a little bit, and it's literally all the bedding's already fallen down, and then you can just chuck the poo in the barrow. And it's also really good for compost, isn't it? Because if you can separate yeah. the poo really easily from the bedding, and we want to put it in our garden or something, then yeah, it's really good for um, fertilizer. Yeah. yeah. So um, overall, I literally, I can't see any. Negatives. I can't. I honestly cannot fault it. I thought. I think the only negative is how much you have to put in at the start, but then again, it works out better anyway because you put in because less. We not, won't. And like, also, the horses. The sh right, so the horses used to eat the straw bedding. Oh, you haven't had to just keep on putting like loads of wedges of straw in because um, they're eating it. I so. was literally putting straw in like every other day. Yeah. yeah. Like, the amount of straw you've gone through is yeah. crazy. We pay so much for straw as well. Yeah, no, so hopefully, just, this is going to be an equal yeah. um yeah, thing. Yeah, oh yeah, so also, um, Sunny Bed have just come out with um, a new palette. So you can originally get. Size. Yeah, a new palette size. You can originally get only 60 in a palette, but now you can half that and get 30. So we got the 30 palette um, just to try our horses on. But I think moving forward, I definitely think we're going to um, move black. 
Blaze, Goldie and Nibbles at least onto the spelling because it just saves so much time when you have nine horses on the yard. I was going to say, they actually smell really nice. You, you yeah, know, yeah. So, it's odour free so when even though you're leaving the wet in, so you get rid of, so yeah, you get rid of some of the wetness if you see it but although like leaving the wet in so you think it's going to smell more, but honestly, you can't smell a thing in it, which is really good. Because, yeah, when Luna's off in season in summer, and all, like, the it's stables are quite hot It's not even when she's in season, she's just a dirty man. Yeah, she just is. stinks. Yeah. But, yeah, we uh, we really love it, and if you do give it a try, make sure to tag us on Instagram. And we'll give um, you a little shout-out. But, yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, please like and subscribe. Oh, we're going to be jumping the horses. Um, there'll be a vlog out probably mid next week. So you'll, probably, you'll be seeing this either on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Hopefully tonight, if I can do it tonight. Um, okay. But um, there'll be a jumping vlog out, and it'll be like the first time jumping them in a month or something. So look out for that. Also, it turns in, Sunny Bed Packaging turns into cat toy. So, are we still having to subscribe? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Like, um, we'll just have to go get some photos for their Instagram. Just um, don't appreciate yeah. this packaging, please. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, gorgeous. Oh, wait, no, we've already shown it has open bag, but yeah. Whoever designed the packaging, gold star for you. I love it. Okay, bye. Monica, carry it. I can, but I, was ha I had this in my hand.